All right. So, syllabus spells out pretty much everything that I want to tell you in terms of uh, the policies in this in this class. Uh, of course, it's a media law class or communication law and policy. Uh, so we're dealing with pretty pretty heavy stuff, and uh, um, this means that there'll be a lot of reading in this class and a lot of work in this class. I want to have this on camera, okay, because I don't want to read Well, the class was too hard. Yeah, it's too hard, yeah. It's meant to be hard, okay? I'm a fair professor. I'm not a hard ass in, in that way, but work is work, all right? So there is a a lot that has to be to be done. I'll try to give you structure. I'll try to give you pace in this class, but still, there is a lot of you know reading that has to be uh, accomplished. That's a textbook. I know it's obnoxiously expensive if you buy it. All right, but renting it makes it pretty palatable. I think you can rent it for like thirty bucks, which is a good deal, a good, 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 good price. I would not buy this book, not because I don't like it, but because it gets updated, you know, very often. Just media law gets updated very, very often. This is the 19th edition. So if you buy it now, by the time you become media professionals, it will be probably two editions past. So I would just remember the concepts of, you know, uh, what's going on in with uh, respect to communication laws and, uh, and policies, but just rent the book, that's the best way. This said, renting it, you have to read, okay? Again, I'll give you the structure, I'll tell you what are the important parts to read, but you have to do your, your own work there. Uh, I have my, my assistant who will be helping me with attendance, will be helping me with uh, 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 lots of other uh, issues. If I divide into, into groups, for instance, sometimes there might, might be some need to, um, you know, for, for him to help me out. I have uh, no cell phone policy. So only mine is off, apparently, just for emergencies, of course, you can, you can keep it. And also, taking notes, uh, if you need to take notes on your laptop, that's okay, but you're taking notes, okay? I have an enforcer, so no Facebook. I know, I know, I know, I know how many times I've been in a meeting checking, updating my Facebook. I know, okay? <laughs> but work is work. I want your full attention for one hour and 15 minutes, or at least one hour, okay? Give or take. So you not divide it here with me. Sometimes it might be conversation. Sometimes it might be presentation, lecture, whatever it is. As I said, I don't normally like to put PowerPoints, but I do it just because to give you some structure. But I prefer the conversation. So that's why I, I might be experimenting a little bit with the format of this class. And I might put some things up front that you have to you know, maybe record myself and, and then we discuss it in class. I'll, I'll have some, some uh, uh, leeway with experimenting. Bottom line is I want your attention, okay? We're clear on that? You have me, I want to have you. Mutual expectations. Uh, attendance is, uh, uh, as in all my classes, I give students two free, you know, don't come to class, no questions asked kind of uh, 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 policy, but anything above that, I want to see an excuse that, that that's actually valid. Again, the reason for that is because I don't want to repeat a million times something that I said in class. Yeah, we might record some of it, but I want to make sure that everybody is on the same page, more or less. Life happens, I know that too, so I'm very accessible. You blow a tire on the, you know, on the four or five, you know, text me, that's fine. Uh, or, uh, you know, uh, email me or Jair and, you know, I'm flexible, but I'm serious about, you know, attendance and, and all that. 
cell phones I uh, you know kind of addressed uh, already all my classes end up to a thousand points that's my usual way of doing things so you basically have a points adding up points game all right thousand points is hundred percent in this class each assignment will have different weight and you always when you get points you always you always know what 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 how you're doing percentage wise so for instance the uh, I have a weekly or sometimes we might skip a week or we might combine uh, two of them but 10 quizzes smaller ones that each of them is 50 points so if you get 40 points on that one this means that you're getting 90 percent oh sorry 80 percent bad math for I think I <laughs> oops I think I wrote it wrong yeah <laughs> but anyway 40 percent 40 points on a 50 point assignment is you know 80 percent 45 per, uh, points on a 50 point assignment is apparently 90 percent according to the newest math <laughs> discoveries <laughs> So you know where you stand percentage-wise, okay? But not all, you know, it's, of course, a lot more important to, to, get, to get, you know, 90% on a 300-point assignment than 90% on a 50-point assignment. So that's why they are weighted, uh, they have different weight, all right? Uh, the reason why I have so many, like, smaller quizzes is because that makes it, again, easier for you to comprehend the material. So we go over the you know, chapter on, say, First Amendment. And then we have a quiz. Instead of doing uh, you know, five chapters and you have to read you know, 150 pages and then you like, go crazy. Okay? So that's why I, I have broken it into uh, uh, lots of smaller uh, assignments. So that's, however, just half of your grade. Then you have, you have a midterm, which will be probably either a legal issue, case, study, essay, some, something like that. I'll see what exactly uh, we're going to do. Uh, and then there is, a, there is a final project, which will be a comprehensive exam, which will be in class. The university actually requires us to have a final activity or final exam in class so we'll do it and and this will be the only one that will be actually pen and paper or pencil and paper okay or crayon and paper whatever you prefer <laughs> right. everything else you submit electronically okay so beach board the fi only the final one you actually come to class and you have an actual exam and and you write on it okay so i'm trying to hit uh, the evaluation wise I'm trying to hit you in different ways I'm giving you things that you might be doing you know, at home sometimes it might be questions that you have to do at home and students say oh I have I have uh, you know five questions uh, that I can answer and I can open up the textbook and I can copy it no you can because I, I might give you 10 minutes to do these five questions okay so if you don't know you know the material you won't be able to to do it okay or I might give you an essay. You have two weeks to write an essay if we, if we do midterm as in an essay format. Okay? But then you have to do some research and you have to prepare and you have to think about uh, and interpret uh, uh, you know, some legal case or you know, concepts or, or whatever. And then, of course, the final exam when you have to actually sit and it's just you and the sheet of paper and you have to write it out so so there are several different ways that I can evaluate your your preparation and some people are better at tests some people are better at essays some people are better when they do it in class some people are better when they do it at home so I'm trying I'm trying to you know not to have one all you know huge stakes uh, exam or, or just one method of evaluation I'm trying to do it in a, in a, in a different uh, in a variety of, of different ways. Again, the reason for that is that this is hard stuff. Okay, this is lots of lots to read, lots lots to comprehend, and and it has to be taken in steps, in doses. 
you have the master schedule put up soon, which will basically tell you this week we're dealing with, you know, First Amendment. This week we're dealing with, you know, defamation. And you know in advance, you know, you know, the chapter, I'll tell you when you have a quiz, when you have a, you know, something uh, that you have to do. So everything planned, systematic, there is structure, there is approach that helps you learn better. Still, you, got, you have to do the work. I mean, I do my work by reading your stuff and grading you and giving you feedback, but you have to do the work to learn this. No, no way around it, all right?